What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the first episode of The Escapist. I saw this up on Twitter the other day. I think they had released for the PS4 or something like that and I said yeah. I feel like playing The Escapist, and so let's film ourselves a new series, shall we? If you don't know what The Escapist is, essentially it's a prison escape simulator. I played it back when it first came out, and then I largely just like stopped playing it because I have this problem where I binge play games right after they come out, and then I just don't follow them anymore afterwards. And I don't know why I do that, but I consistently do it over and over and over again. I think it's due to the fact that I just have so many things on my radar a lot of the time. But as I was downloading it, I saw the number tick higher and higher and higher in Steam. I thought, this feels very warm, like a blankie over my body. I think this is the right decision. Decision. And so we'll play the escapist see how interested people are we'll do the first prison And if things work out and it turns out to be one of those things that people want to see we will continue even further So without further ado, let us play the escapist and try and escape the penal system That does sound pretty threatening anytime you use the word penal. It sounds like it's pointing at you or something Let's go to new game here we Gotta choose ourselves a character Customize our player well Typically, I like Maru simply due to the fact that it looks like he has sideburns and a shaved head. And if you're gonna be in prison, getting into fights and shit all the time, you gotta have your, you gotta keep it cropped short because people are always grabbing onto it and just kind of like gripping, and then they monkey punch you to death. And you're like, ah, no, I'm being monkey punched. It's so unpleasant. I'll probably either go with, eh, let's just go with Maru again, and then I'll name him Scud Nuts. Nope, not Scud Nets. Scud nuts. There we go with an extra T for twice the terror in we go I'm actually on stay log fluked right now. I played this one already I think I did it during a stream or something like that I don't know we're gonna do stay lag fluked and that's gonna be the second prison It's still easy. I haven't unlocked any of the other ones So unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to do those still This is gonna be a little bit of a learning experience. So a word of warning I don't really remember a whole lot about the game I do remember like the crafting and how a lot of that works But as we work our way through I'm gonna have to get my feet wet first and immerse myself into the game and I'm sure it'll I'll start coming back to me. It's all coming back, all coming back to me now. There were moments of gold and there were flashes of light. If you wanted to have your character named in game for the next prison, because I assume we'll do like one or two prisons, if you wanted to be in the next prison, if you wanted to be a bull or an inmate, by all means, put it down to, put it down below in a comment. I'll take care of it and I will add you into the next series. It will be pretty cool for right now. Obviously, I can't do that because there's no way for me to acquire the names. So, anyways, let's start the game off, shall we? Sent me another one, have they? Listen, Scud Nuts, I don't have to remind you that Stalag Fluked is famous for housing inmates with a record of escapism, so if you're planning on getting out of this one, think again. Now get yourself settled in. It's going to be a cold, long winter. It's true, the winters here are very long, but not like it's not due to any like positioning thing with the sun or anything like that. It's actually due to the fact, it's not due to a tilt in the axis, whatever. It's actually due to the fact that there's just a lot of really sour, angry feelings in this political area, and so they solidify in the air as permanent winter. You can't can't escape it. It's just always around. I found that if I'm loud during this part, I always miss things, so I'm just going to pay attention. The maggots do a cell shakedown are as follows. Clark and Craig, so they're keeping it alliterative for right now. I respect that. These boots were made for stomping. As my dear old Nan used to say, you will address me as your king. That sounds like a fun household game. Address me as king. We should put you all down. Oh my god, things just got real up and in here. It will crush you like, but I think the berating, can that end now? God, we just got berated for like way longer than I remember being berated. I thought he used to say like four things, but he sat there for a while on that one. I think he's harboring a little bit of anger towards us. Oh look, I'm nude. Fantastic. I think I want to go, we got yoga mats in here, so we got jogging, and we got press-ups. Okay, so... If I wanted to do some push-ups, how do we make that happen? Oh, nope, that's not what I wanted. I accidentally hit the wrong key. There we go. Oh, it's on now. Hopefully that guy doesn't come through because I need to get my muscles on right now. Get them buys and tries and lats and all that stuff going in case we get ourselves into a fight. I actually like to work strength pretty early on in my playthrough just because fights are one of those necessities that has to happen as you try and earn money and things of that nature. So if I can max myself out right now without getting any heat, our health is also ridiculously, almost ludicrously low. And so let me jump into here real fast. We will use the shower for just a minute. I don't know if our fatigue... Oh, I gotta stand right here. Okay, it's a very specific spot that the shower spigot is in. And so I gotta do my job quota, but I think that gives me... Ooh, my heat is high. So apparently they check in on the fact that I'm supposed to be places now. I don't remember that being a thing before, but it might have been. I don't know. Have to get used to it. Ah, we'll grab a couple hoes while we're inside prison. So there's a fun fact. Kids, go to prison, get hoes. And so we'll go off to the right hand side. I think for this job I'm supposed to be picking plants or something like that. But it's like a super shitty job. I remember this one sucking when I streamed the game because you could never get it done in time. 
There we go. Not exactly the weeding that I'm accustomed to, but you know what? Sometimes you gotta weed. There's nothing else down here. I know I saw him around somewhere. How long do I have to weed? Because it looks like... Oh my god, where's the plant life? It's nowhere, apparently. Huh. Something tells me this quota isn't getting filled today. Oh, there's two right there. Got that one been bulking up big time. Don't pick my plants. I saw that. I'm trying to get in on my job right now. That ain't how it works. I'll protect this thing. I got a hoe right now. I will beat you with this hoe. Do we have anything else in here that we can actually pick? Oh, dial 911. There's a fight down there. I don't think dialing 911 is going to work in prison. Ah, there's one. So we'll get this one right here. I don't think we're going to make it, though. I think we probably have, like, five minutes left to get this done. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's actually a lot of plants around. Here, get closer. Do this better. Go faster. Gardening job! Oh, we made it! I don't think I've ever completed the gardening job before. Like, the last couple times I've done it, I have just failed miserably. And that is to say that I failed while being in a miserable mood. I actually didn't fail that badly. I was just in a bad mood that day. I didn't sleep. My breakfast was not quite as good as I expected it was going to be. I don't know. Cheerios have been wearing me out lately. I need to get some new cereals or something. You know, this side, I had this big thing of like Jimmy Dean sausage that I was going to cook at some point, but I never got around to it. It went bad in my fridge. I always feel like a dick when that happens, too. I'm like, well, call me the food waster because I waste food. It's actually a pretty simple. It's actually a pretty simple system. I waste food, and then you call me food waster. Pretty literalist. Exercise period. I'm going to try and get some push-ups going. I want to punch some fools. It's going to be important later on. I'll show you where our stats are in just a moment, but if you haven't watched the first series, I highly recommend it. That'll probably have about the same learning curve as I had right here. I don't know. It's one of those games that when it first came out, I got it a little bit early, so I got to play it like the day before and get used to the game. This time, this was totally and completely on a whim, so who even knows. We'll go. We got 16 push-ups. Yeah, keep putting them out right there, bud. Got that covered. Yup. There it is. You were too fatigued. There's a fight right there. When he gets knocked out, actually, because they're going to beat the hell out of both of them, what I might try and do is rob him once the guards go out. All right, let's get Walt. And he had a glass shard and a plunger. Let's get the plunger and the glass shard for right now. We're a prisoner of war, so we're not even in prison right now. We're like prisoners of war. That means we used to be a soldier. I don't know. We got like a POW outfit on right now. It's a little bit worrying. We've got ourselves some strength. I think I'm going to keep working strength for right now on the first day. It seems like a good plan. With the glass shard, I think we can wrap that in duct tape or something like that, and it'll turn into a better weapon. But for the moment, normally what I would do during free period is every single prison has kind of like its own schedule that you have to adhere to. I don't know what the schedule looks like here just yet. You should be able to... Oh, look, all my crafting notes are still in here from when I streamed it. Good. That might help out a little bit here. I want that menu to go away. So I'm going to click outside of it to denote that I no longer want to look at it. Crafting notes. Like, oh, man. All I want to do is be looked at. I didn't get much attention as a small note. When I was a post-it, nobody paid attention to me. Walk through here. I want to be strong enough to fight a guard. And that's going to take a little bit of effort. Because as you do push-ups, you get more health and you get more damage. And so that's something we're going to be needing. Especially since we're actually going to like... They put a reputation system in the game right now. Where people will like you and hate you more or less based on the actions that you take in prison. And so people will like arbitrarily jump you now. Or I guess it's not arbitrary anymore. People used to attack you randomly. Now they get mad at you because you didn't do their quest. Or because you beat them up before. And they try and get revenge on you. And it is troublesome mis amigos y amigas and so we'll go down in here let us shower a little bit further i'd like to get strength maxed out within the first couple days and then we can start working on speed speed simply is the speed at which you do i think it's just like movement speed and then also maybe the speed at which you do random tasks i don't remember i have to look that one up that's something that i don't recall very well but then again my memory is absolutely horrific i brained up like crazy i need mental emodium Let's jump up in here, alright, oh, another fight right there, once that ends, actually this is a great way to get contraband for later, and so let's check and see what Walt has, he has a service metal, he's also got a comb blade, that's a little bit better than what we have right now, I think we're rocking, so what does a service metal do? Like, I assume later on, somebody, we beat that dude up and took his medals. Somehow that feels deeply wrong. I don't know why that feels so ridiculously wrong. I'm going to assume that for right now, it's one of those medals that you have just for ceremony. Like, he was never actually even in the military. We are in a prisoner of war camp, though, so, you know, it might be a stretch of the imagination still. I'm going to assume that it's like one of those bottle caps on the end of a piece of cloth. And it's not really for anything. Maybe later on I'll be able to trade it for something. Actually, yeah, an evening meal sounds great. We didn't eat this morning, so we should probably do that. I love meals. They're great and delicious. Eating is probably one of my favorite things in life. I don't know. 
It kind of sucks though because I get fat really easy like I have bad genetics and so like when I eat like regularly So I eat three times a day. There's like a normal meal. I will bloat out super quick Like I gain weight like crazy like I got almost to like 185 pounds just eating normally not even like binge eating or anything like that When I was in college, like I just ate normal meals and it was like ramen three times a day too Which is the weirdest part now I work out like three hours a day and I only eat like two meals maybe and it seems to keep my weight down But yeah eating and not eating both don't really seem to work for me. I got really bad genetics or something. It's weird I don't know. I do have overweight people in my family, so I assume that's what causes it, but I don't know. Really? We got a garden twice a day? That seems weird. Oh, shit. I forgot that I had contraband and we just walked through a metal detector. Okay, so drop the comb blade on the ground for right now, I guess. I'll see if I can come back and get it later. We have to avoid guards now because our heat is super high. And so- Ow! They're shooting me! They have firearms in my face. So what got scanned when I went through there? Because the last time we went through there- Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The last time we went through there, our comb blade didn't get scanned. So what was the thing that got scanned right there? Oh, we're in the infirmary. We need to get this job done. Ah, oh, we're going to lose our job. We got shot hipsters. Hipsters indeed, my friend. Hipsters indeed. Driving up the prices of all the old games up on Amazon and shit. It's frustrating, isn't it? All right, well, if there's still... I guess I'll leave the comb blade here for right now. We don't really have much of a choice. I think we're going to lose our job, though. A little bit disappointing there. But we can always resort to beating people upside the head for money. If, you know, nothing else works out for us. Alright, look at me, I'm doing my job with bullet wounds, huh? Aren't I a trooper? Look at me, continuing to do the things that I'm supposed to, even though I was heavily wounded previously. Aren't I a great guy, a great pal, a great friend? I don't think we're gonna hit this quota. We got 15 minutes left, and we gotta get two weeds. Two whole weeds. I think there's probably one down and in here, but yeah. We in trouble! Oh no, they're gonna give us like an extra hour? Okay. I don't know what the scheduling looks like around here, so whatever. Maybe they give you extra time for weeding because they know that it's like a harder job to do. Whenever I did carpentry or something like that, I feel like the job was a little bit shorter. Well, did my job, got paid, at least getting shot didn't hurt my employment chances, so that's pretty cool. He's gonna pick up the comb blade right there, that's fine, whatever. Learning experience, like I said, we'll throw that all in there. We got an extra plunger for right now. I'm gonna take the service metal, we're gonna go back over to our house, which I think is this one right here, right? Nope, that's Waltz's desk. Is there anything inside here that I want? Does he have good things? Ooh, he has talcum powder. I'll take that. He's got a cup and a comb. I'll take your toothpaste. We got Clark's desk over here. Talcum powder. I don't know if the cup's useful, but I'll take it too. I seem to recall being able to combine some of this stuff. Where's my desk? Is it this one? Okay, good. So let's put his stuff inside my desk because I'm a terrible, terrible thief like that. People want to know how we got into the prisoner of war camp. It was actually from stealing. This is a prisoner of war camp that's run by the military that we were actually in. We're not actually inside an enemy imprisonment camp right now. This is actually run by the country we used to fight for. It's because I used to steal stuff all the time. It's kind of like Leavenworth. We're up in here for military tribunal and crimes and things and court martials and all kinds of words I don't understand or know. Don't you be looking at my tools? Do you have multiple? That's pretty impressive. I saw that Reddit post. That was an interesting day for me on the internet. That was an interesting day. Come on, Scud Nuts. Get going, Scud Nuts. I will in just a minute after I do some push-ups. Y'all can't tell me what to do. I'm a gangster. I'm a prisoner. I do what I want. There's a reason I'm in here. Society's rules don't dictate anything to me. I do what I want. I drive down the left-hand side of the street, so... Yeah. More push-ups. Evening roll call. I don't think we have any contraband, but I think they check to see if you're there, so maybe I should go. We have 38 hit points, which is pretty badass. Face the front. Uh, Nonconformity. Get some. The maggots do a cell shakedown are as follows. Jaden and James. They're being alliterative twice in a row. Jaden and James, Craig and Chris. Did I say you could cough? I am the judge and executioner here. Hmm. That could be problematic. Somebody's been smuggling spoons out of the canteen. I should be smuggling spoons out of the canteen so I could dig a hole in the bottom of my room and like hide stuff inside of it. That might, I think it might make my life a little bit easier. Do we look stupid to you? <laughs> you don't want me to answer that. It'll probably just end with an ass whooping for me. And so our celly is Craig. Craig got no more quests for me. Wait, did I just steal his bed sheet while talking to him? Cool. Alright, well, I guess we'll just go to bed for right now. I think we can do, is talcum powder and toothpaste, does that do something? It does, it makes a wad of putty. Okay, so I guess I'll make a little bit more too. I mean, I guess I should probably just keep the uncombined stuff inside my inventory so that I won't get cell shook down. But the wad of putty is already here, so it's a little bit too late. That's what I get for experimenting and doing science. Would you like to sleep until morning and save your progress? Sure, why not? Let's continue. 
our first day went pretty horrifically. I've been here for like an hour and I've been shot about 38 times with high caliber rifles. Let's see. Walt relieved me of my comb. Could you get it back? Yeah, I'll go fight Walt. That'll be fine. Our strength is pretty good, so I think we could take him. We got each other's backs. Yeah. Man, I don't know you. What have you got, though? Can I buy your stuff? Do you have a weapon? Okay, so I can fight you with my fists. A roll of duct tape is pretty important. I kind of want it, but I don't want to spend the money on it right now. Look at the state of you all. My state is California. I call it. The lucky winners of today's shakedowns will be Clark and Rodney. No respect. One of you maggots raided the tool shed? This is the way it is. Get used to it. So you're not going to try and stop it. You're just going to be like, well, that's the way things work in prison. Somebody keeps raiding the tool shed. I don't know. Your family have disowned you. Damn it. How did you get that letter from my mother? The guards rule this place. Can't you tell? Your family... You said that twice, man. I think you're recycling your content a little bit here. You might want to spend a little bit more time in front of the mirror making new content instead of just, you know, saying the same thing twice within three statements. I'm going to skip breakfast again and keep working out because why not? The heat system doesn't terrify me. I've already been shot. There's nothing you can threaten me with here. Yep, few more presses. I call these push-ups, but you know what? You can call them presses. That's fine. It doesn't depress me, I suppose. Somebody's getting their ass whooped right now. I heard that. Somebody got that little chunky noise that took out. If we can get nice and strong and then also shower before our work period, that would be pretty excelsior as far as I'm concerned. Alright, so I'm too fatigued right there. Let's jump into the shower real fast. Get our fatigue all taken care of because nobody wants to garden while sweaty and nasty. This is a lady down the street from my house. It's the craziest thing I've ever seen. She has like the most enormous garden on earth. But the problem with that is that all of the bees in the neighborhood have decided that that garden is like the shit. It's like the bee hangout. And so like when you walk past her house, you can just hear buzzing. That's all that you hear is just, Mmm. it sounds like somebody's phone on vibrate. And they're not like normal bees either, they're like these big black bastards. They're like 30 feet long. They have no yellow on them. They're just black. And they're huge, and I don't think they're hostile or anything. Like, they don't try and land on you or whatever, but damn, are they threatening. And there's so many of them. There's like 50 of them just, like, floating around the bushes all up on the sidewalk when I'm trying to go for my run. And then they see my sweat, and they're like, mmm, delicious man sweat. I want to eat that. And they try and land on you. like, eh. It's terrifying. I don't like bees. Bees don't do anything for me. Bees are not the bee's knees is what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say right now. Let's go ahead and hoe it on up a little bit. Pretty good at hoeing. It's another reason I got in here. I've done a lot of crimes, okay? Stealing, hoeing, general violence, getting into trouble. I've done a lot of bad things before they put me here. I was not the nicest customer. And that's just on the mercantile end of my life. I don't see any weeds around. This is unfortunate. You would think enough weeds to do your job would, like, spawn each time that you do this. I think I might have to beat up the guy with the other job so that I could take his shit because mine is not working out for me here. There we go. A little bit more weeding to take care of. This side right here. Oh, it's on now. We're almost there. The quota is almost fulfilled. Luckily, they give us a little bit more time. And so I could take a look around the big courtyard. Is there? Any There's one right there. Ah, come to me, weed. Be inside of my inventory. My toilet is broke again. Well, that's why I told you to stop eating at P.F. Chang's, but you don't listen to me. He's got a magazine. I'll take your magazine. Hell yeah. It's not a magazine for like a rifle or anything. That would be super dope. But can't do anything about that now. Everybody else has guns. At least the guards do. I wish I had guns. Gardening job completed. I wish that you could like overcharge your job and earn like a dollar for each plant that you did extra. Because I like to earn things along the way. Let's get in here. Alright, tool chest time. We'll throw that in there and that in there. I wonder if you can store stuff inside the gardening tools chest and not get in trouble. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious about that situation. I'm curious anyways, but that's mostly because I have a missing eyelid, but everybody points that out. I don't know if I've ever talked about that on the channel, but seriously, my eyelid has a hole in it. I don't know. It seems like a weird thing, and people always notice it when they see me in real life, and then they'll be like, why is there a hole in your eyelid? And I'm like, I didn't even know about that until other people pointed it out to me. Weirdest thing ever. Like, seriously, it's weird how many people notice it because it's so small. Like, I don't even think about it. I never even noticed it until I was in high school and people pointed it out on, like, a daily basis. I'll get a move on when I feel like getting a move on. I am the man in this situation. It looks like my butt cheek goes all the way up through the center of my back. Like, the world's largest ass crack. It's all the way up. I'm not going to ponder the biological logistics of this whole thing. I have a free period right now and you can no longer harass me. I should probably beat up Walt, shouldn't I? Hey, James, what do you got going on? You want to talk with me for a second, James? Officer Pierre raided my cell yesterday and took my bottle of sleeping pills. Could you get me it back? Eh, maybe. 
I'm not gonna fight with a good that didn't go into my quest did it okay good so anyways let's go find Walt and I'm gonna actually let's max out strength real fast then we'll go find Walt and we'll whoop the hell out of him and we should be I think Walt I don't remember what he looked like I have to go look for him All right couple more presses in here yep I find that to be most impressive I think that should be maxed for us are we there no we're not quite there yet all right, so I'm gonna be a little bit like a two-year-old in the back seat, being like, "Are we there yet? Not quite." Ah, I was hoping we would make it, but 49 is good enough. Are you Walt? You're Carter. Okay. Who are you, Rodney? All right, just keep an eye out for people walking by because we're gonna jump him straight out of the shower. Keep ourselves out oh, there. He is. We got him. But he's our friend, though. Oh well. Ass whooping time. He's like, no! Oh no! Don't fight me, guard! Don't fight me! I was just trying to whoop somebody. Get Craig's comb from Walt. Oh, I gotta grab a comb out of there. All right. Oh, it's in his desk? Aw, oh, man, I just whooped somebody's ass for no reason, and now he is yellow to me. His status is now yellow. All right, so apparently it was inside of his desk, and his desk is right there. Getting into trouble that I didn't even need to get into. I'm gonna run this guy around the back side of the building. Looks like none of the other officers want to assist, so that's a good thing. Are we good now? Did we escape? All right, let's go find Walt's comb. Since we didn't punch the guard, we shouldn't be in too much trouble, I don't think. Walt's desk. And there's the comb, and we got $21. I like that we don't have to drop it back off. Saves us a little bit of legwork. Ooh, fight right there. They're both hitting each other for two damage. That doesn't even seem to be worth it. Y'all need to hit the weight bench, like, right now. Get yourself some real fisticuffs going on, because this right here, this is like some sock and bopper stuff. Yeah, and see, now the guard's just gonna come in and whoop both your asses. And then what are you going to do? we got a crafting note right there and some wire. I'm going to take the wire so that if I can find some lumber along the way, like if we can manage to get wood during this adventure, we can make some nunchucks or something. That'd be pretty badass. He didn't see us loot the body right there, which is good. we got paper mache, which is toilet paper and super glue. I think I remember the paper mache used it to cover vents or something like that. Let's have a look around, and we'll just look for locations that we can try and escape from. We've got a crate that we can get behind right there. There's the outer fence, so we need a guard's uniform, a red key evening meal yeah that would actually be nice our fatigue is kind of high right now let's go ahead and get that number reduced for just a minute reduce that number not my favorite thing about elementary school reducing fractions it sucked but eventually I got it I figured it out at some point sit down right here we'll get that all nice and taken care of 2% fatigue don't talk with your gob full all right so we got that right there ski back out the gate maybe do some speed training huh do a little bit of speed, sorry. Kitten invasion right there. He's trying to get up on the desk. Let's start doing some distance running. I guess we're just jogging in place with a tray of food in front of us right now. That's living the dream right there. You jump up on the treadmill, big old tray of brownies in front of you. Like, I have to inspire myself. Every time I run a mile, I eat a brownie that totally negates all of the gains that I've made today. Come on. Keep going. We got this thing covered right here. Yeah. Oh, it's my gardening. I forgot that I have to do this twice a day. That weirds me out. I'm used to only doing my job once a day. We'll go over here. We'll grab that. The screws in this place are stupid. The screws is a prison term for a guard. It's the screws, the bulls. There's a whole bunch of nicknames, and it sort of depends what place you're at, too, geographically. Like, in different states, they'll call the prison guards different things in the United States, and I'm sure there's also nicknames for them in other countries and things like that, too. Looks like we might have a good time weeding today. It looks like it might be a little bit easier. I'll probably do two days per episode or something like that. For right now, I'm still just getting settled and getting a feel for the place, just scoping everything out. But what is very, very apparent is that we're going to need a red key. And so we either got to wait until a guard gets knocked out and we steal the red key and we make an imprint of it, or B, we can fight a guard ourselves and make an imprint of his key once we get that all knocked out. So the red key looks like it gives us a lot of access. I heard Officer Pierre. What does this guy do? Oh, it's the same guy. Okay, I'm not going to do your quest, though. Does that make him grumpy, though? I don't think it lowers our reputation with him. It looked like the color was the same. But then again, I have, diff like, real difficulties discerning between colors, so whatever. Like, especially once you get, like, into the yellowish greens. Eh, they all kind of bleed together for me. It's not because I'm colorblind or anything. It's just, like, all yellow greens look the same to me. There we go. Job quota finished. Go back over here. We'll go ahead and drop this off inside of there. Can you do anything with the hoe other than weed? Or is it just like a useless piece of equipment that you can't really do much with? Carter and his pals jumped me and took my comb. Get it back to me and you'll get a reward. Okay. So do I have to beat up Carter? Get Ronald's comb from Carter. Well, I guess I'll check the desk first this time. Since last time, I beat somebody up for no reason when I could have just been a thief. I don't know. I kind of like the direct approach, though. Jaden, Craig... 
Carter. All right, so let's go take a look at Carter's stuff and see if it's in here. If it's not, we'll go fight with Carter. There it is. Ooh, he's also got a sheet of metal. What? Oh, we could use that. We could use that. He's also got a med kit. That'd be nice if we need some heals. I think I'll take both of those. I like to have heals in prison. I don't know. It helps me sell my butt cheeks a little bit better. I work on the gluteus a lot, so having some heals, it really, really helps out when you're trying to shake what your mama gave you. You know what I mean? So we'll jump up in here. We've got a med kit. We'll store that for a little bit later. The sheet of metal will be useful for a couple different things. I don't recall exactly what recipe that goes to. But I'll figure it out shortly, obviously at the end of the episode. I'm going to try and play with like a crafting list open on the side. Because I don't want this to take forever. I want it to be nice and clean. Oh good, we got another fight over here. Got to go to the shower block. I'm going to get my shower on real fast. Once the fight is over and somebody's ass has been thoroughly whooped. Chung. Ah, Chung doesn't have anything. Whatever. Alright, so this is always a good place to get the chit chat going on. Nothing like talking to other men while naked. I've been tailing a thieving rat for days and worked out his routine. Distract the guards at the next shower block. Yeah, no. That one's usually a losing prospect. Probably not going to work out very well for you. Can you divert the guards? Maybe. Eh. Nah, probably not. And then I got a bunch of money that I could spend right now. Ever thought about escaping? I want you to sell me some things. It looks like when you chat with people, you actually get reputation too. You got a hammer, some foil, and a roll of duct tape. I've got $108. I really don't want to be smuggling a ton of contraband for right now. Yeah, it looks like when you talk to people, you get reputation. And so I guess you find common ground to exist upon. Doesn't look like it actually helps that much, though. Just looks like standing next to people means that they give you a thumbs up every now and again. Fonzie style, like, hey, they're excited to be with you in the shower. Like, hey, we're naked together. Hooray. Definitely my least favorite part of the whole, like, gym workout experience. The following morons have won a cell search. Chung and Scud Nuts. That is unfortunate. Some idiot was snooping around after lights out. All right, so I need to like get back up in here. Grab that, grab that. Make sure that I don't have any contraband in here. Okay, it's all looking good. Luckily, there's no metal detector on our doors. So I'm just going to take the heat right here. We'll keep this stuff on us. And then once they search the room, we'll go to bed. We'll stash it on back up, and that'll be the end of the day. Whoever broke into the utility shed is finished. Well, yeah, they already completed the task. Of course, they're finished breaking into the utility shed. Mm -hmm. Syntax. Alright, so let's wait for the raid here. I don't know if they search you, too. I don't think they do. I think if it's on your person, you should be alright. But this could be another learning experience. I have a lot of those here on the channel. It's a little bit embarrassing, but lots and lots of learning experiences. Nah, it looks like the shakedown was actually pretty short. We'll throw that back in there. Okay, and then we'll sleep for the night. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcast for the next episode of the first episode of The Escapists. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody.